Well, what I've done to remove this three quarter from this, it was on on my uh, front end thing. I just chucked it in the leaves. I just let I just let this piece here just run around around the leaves, and I drilled the center out. Now it left me a little old three quarter hole, so I took this golf cart spindle and I turned the end down. I stuck it in like this, here, like I did this one. You can see where I got it in there. I pressed it in there. All I got to do now is weld it. Weld it here on the outside. Weld on the inside should be pretty solid. So that's the old, that's the old cup cadet. Remember those those screws that held on? I just don't like these. Things. I want me some real spindles. So all I do now is press it there and weld both of these, and I have it made. And they don't look too bad for a redneck welder. I think that's going to hold pretty good. It's welded on this side and plus on the back side. So I don't believe I have no problem with it. On these uh, golf cart spindles right here, I got several of these. But what I've done, I sawed it as close as I can to that. Or torch it. Torch this off, then torch it down, leave you some room where you can machine that all flat. And where you can machine a three quarter, a little over three quarter size little hub on there so you can press it in your other, your other, your other uh, part of your, your cup of that front end. But the other problem I found with my front end is these holes here wore slime out, so I got some new bolts. I'll show you how wore out they are. Well, this one here ain't bad as the other one. See it right there? But what I've done, I took and tapered the top of my boat. I tapered my nut, put it in the lathe. Then I tapered the top of the uh, kingpin bushing thing, jigger, what you call it. So the nut will be able to fit in there tapered. Plus my boat will go in there tapered. So what that'll do is line it up automatically and I tighten it all up. So I just got to shorten this boat up and rethread it. That's going to work beautiful. Beautiful. That's going to work beautiful. Well, that boat's pretty tight. And it, free, it moves freely. So that's just what we want right there. That is beautiful. So now the tire is perpendicular the way it's supposed to be. Before, when I put these on, this top part here will lean forward and this bottom part will lean out. So it will cock up this way so you have the wheels in an angle. So now they have the wheel straight. So it's just to automatically line itself up. Without with that, I just had a lot of slot play. Oh, right, here it is uh, several years later since I repainted the, all the yellow. I didn't, never did paint the rims. I painted all the yellow and uh, didn't paint the didn't paint the hood and didn't paint the uh, the dashboard, but they're putting on these golf cart spindles. Mother bearings are inside there, and there's my seal. There's my seal right there, where my finger is. So we just slip that on there, and uh, you slip it on there. Take your bearing over here. Put your bearing in it. Put your washers on it. Then put your nut. What I like to do is, when well, I put my nut on, before I put my nut on, find out where the hole is. I see where the hole's at, almost straight across. Now I tighten these up. I take a wrench. I snug it up. Just snug it up. Sort of tight. Now what you want to do is back it off until you get a until you get a until you get a pin to go in the hole. Until you get this carter key going in that hole. Well it went in there. I backed it off. Draw your pin in. And bend them things around. Make sure they're out of the way. 
So when you put your cap on, you won't hit your cap. I like to take my wrench and turn this a little bit until I tighten up on that that gum thing. Until I tighten up on the carter key, until it bends the carter key a little bit. That makes it nut tight. There you go. That's good and snug. Put your cap on, put your wheel on, you have it. You just take the hammer and beat that cap on there. Huh? Don't hit dead in the center of you, bend that in. Kind of hit it on the edge, round, 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 round. That'll keep bending in. Right, I'm going to go on the other side and put the wheel on. Well, these are tires I had on it right here. They're trailer tires. I'm going to change up something different. They are full luggage. Uh, trailer rim, the same as these uh, golf cart rims right here. I'm going to put two golf cart rims on there. A little bigger tires, but see how it does. Well, I got the tire, the rim on there. The tire. Freaking sunlight messing me up coming in. Anyway, all you do now is put your lugs on, you have it. And you ain't got to worry about that stupid, give me a little bee, that boat in the middle. I was a little sloppy bearing. You get bearings brand new and they wore out. As sloppy as they can be. And I hate them stupid bearings. These bearings here, they'll last you. They'll last you. No more you drive this thing, they'll last you many, many years. And then you gotta take that cap off and take the key, take the car to key out and retighten them. If it doesn't tighten up enough to where you get the slack out of it, you might have to find you a little shim washer put in there to take up the, the slack so when you tighten it up. It won't have that slack. But there you go. There's a golf cart spindle, with, even with golf cart tires on the front. And uh, got so much sunlight, and there's one one my one ugly muffler too. I'm gonna change that muffler. I about decided to go ahead and put this muffler up inside of here and getting some uh, header wrap wrap this thing real good. You know, just come one exhaust out this way, one here, and hook in the engine like it's supposed to be. Then run this exhaust out the side, then come up with a stack. Hey, uh, on February the uh, 26th, which is not this Saturday, well, not this Friday, but next Friday, I'll be up to Florida Flywheel, and I'll be on my tractor. Uh, be glad to meet somebody. And, uh, hey, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Appreciate you watching the video. Thank you and bye.